my name is Lillian and I thought I'd tell you a little bit about myself before you continue on watching my presentation. So I am from Maple Grove, Minnesota and I grew up with my little brother who is still in high school right now. I am currently a sophomore here at the U studying marketing, uh, supply chain operations management, and retail merchandising. I am really involved in Greek life on campus and I'm also a pink team campus representative which has been really fun. In my free time, I love to go running with my dog who lives at home, unfortunately. <laughs> and three words to describe me would be friendly, independent, and caring. With that, I hope you enjoy my presentation and learn a few things about me that you wouldn't from looking on the internet. My dad has been my mentor my whole life, and I ultimately am who I am today because of him. He has been my role model for as long as I can remember since I first stepped foot on the ice with ice skates on to my first time throwing a softball. He has taught me my most profound values, and you can see them within me every day that I live out. The strongest value he has taught me is drive. Drive to be the best person I can be. Drive to treat everyone around me with respect and dignity drive to work my hardest, and drive to push myself to the best of my abilities. He has taught me to never give up on my dreams, and this is what I value most about him. He has always told me everything is attainable if you believe in yourself and you work hard to get there. When my dad was little, he had a dream to become a state house representative. This was a big dream, and he knew that. Five years ago, he made that dream become a reality. This picture that I'm going to show next was him and I on election night the night he became a member of the Minnesota House of Representatives. He has truly been an inspiration for me and I strive to be more like him each and every day. The next portion of a story that I'm going to tell is a moment that changed me. The winter of my sophomore year of high school, I experienced extreme, extreme back pain and I was not able to run or engage in any physical exercise. I spent three days in the hospital undiagnosed and after many kidney stone tests, ultrasounds, and MRIs later, I was diagnosed with spondylolysis, which is a medical condition of the spine represented by a fatigue fracture of the vertebrae. In simpler terms, I have a bilateral fracture on my L5 vertebrae. I was terrified. It felt so powerful because it took over my life for that time and I felt defeated, I felt discouraged, and I thought I would never be able to run again and I really did not want that taken away from me. With rigorous physical therapy and care for the injury, I have been able to continue my running career. I have persevered every day since the day I was released from the hospital. I have persevered while having to start my training from the very beginning, even through the pain and the difficulties. Although I've not, able, although I've not been able to achieve the same speed that I possessed before, I have continued to work hard and stay positive about my condition through this experience. The results I have, the results I've had have been amazing and it has taught me my endurance and to be grateful for what I have and that I'm still able to participate in the sport that I love. Running is a part of who I am and it's something that I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life. 